So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. A large mixing tank currently contains 200 gallons of water into which 40 pounds of sugar have been mixed. A tap will open pouring 15 gallons of water per minute into the tank at the same time sugar is being poured into the tank at a rate of 2 pounds per minute. Find the concentration, which will be pounds per gallon, of sugar in the tank after 8 minutes. Is the concentration after 8 minutes greater than the beginning concentration? Before we define a function for the concentration, we need a function for the amount of water in the tank as well as a function for the amount of sugar in the tank. Let's let t equal the time in minutes. Let's let the function w of t equal the amount of water in gallons after t minutes. And let's let the function s of t equal the amount of sugar in pounds after t minutes. Let's begin by focusing on the amount of water. The tank begins with 200 gallons of water once the tap opens, water is added at a rate of 15 gallons per minute. Because the rate of change is constant, W of t is a linear function. So W of t, the amount of water is equal to the beginning amount of 200 gallons plus the water is added at a rate of 15 gallons per minute. So W of t equals 200 plus 15 t. And now let's write the function s of t, which is the amount of sugar in pounds after t minutes. We begin with 40 pounds of sugar, and then once the tap opens, sugar is added at a rate of two pounds per minute, which means s of t, the amount of sugar in pounds after t minutes, is equal to 40 plus two t. Now that we've defined two functions for the amount of water and the amount of sugar, we can write a function for the concentration. The concentration is the ratio of pounds of sugar to gallons of water. So if we let C of t equal the concentration after t minutes, C of t equals, again, the ratio of the pounds of sugar to gallons of water, which would be the ratio of the function S of t to W of t, which means C of t equals the quantity 40 plus 2t divided by the quantity 200 plus 15t. Now that we have a function for the concentration of sugar in pounds per gallon of water, we can determine the concentration after eight minutes, which will be the function value c of t, and we can also determine the beginning concentration, which will be the function value c of zero. Let's do this on the next slide. To determine the concentration after eight minutes, we determine the function value c of eight by substituting eight for t into our concentration function c of t. So c of eight equals the quantity 40 plus two times eight divided by the quantity 200 plus 15 times eight. Two times eight equals 16, 40 plus 16 equals 56. 15 times eight equals 120. 200 plus 120 equals 320. Remember this is the ratio of pounds per sugar per gallons of water. So after eight minutes, there are 56 pounds of sugar in a total of 320 gallons. But let's go ahead and simplify this ratio or fraction. The greatest common factor between 56 and 320 is eight. To simplify, we divide both values by eight. 56 divided by eight is equal to seven. 320 divided by eight equals 40. And now let's go ahead and include the units. This is seven pounds of sugar. And this is 40 gallons of water. So after eight minutes, the concentration is seven pounds of sugar per 40 gallons of water. But let's also convert this to a decimal by dividing. 7 divided by 40 is equal to 0 
So we can also say the concentration is equal to 0 0.175. The units would be pounds of sugar per gallon of water. And now we need to determine the beginning concentration, which is the function value C of zero. To determine the function value C of zero, we step to zero for T into the function C of T. C of zero equals the quantity 40 plus two times zero divided by the quantity 200 plus 15 times zero. Simplifying, we get the ratio of 40 to 200. Now this should make sense because this is telling us there's 40 pounds of sugar per 200 gallons of water, which is the mixture that we started with. But again, let's go ahead and simplify this. The greatest common factor between 40 and 200 is 40. 40 divided by 40 is equal to one. 200 divided by 40 is equal to five. So the beginning concentration is one pound of sugar per five gallons of water. One divided by five is equal to 0 0.2. We can also give the concentration as 0 0.2 pounds of sugar per gallon of water. Now the last question was, is the concentration after eight minutes greater than the beginning concentration? Notice how to make this comparison it's much easier to compare the concentration as a decimal rather than as a ratio or a fraction. The concentration after eight minutes is 0 0.175 pounds of sugar per gallon of water. The beginning concentration was 0 0.2 pounds of sugar per gallon of water. After eight minutes, the concentration is less than the beginning concentration. So again, because 0 0.175 is less than 0 0.2, the concentration after eight minutes is less than the beginning concentration. I hope you found this helpful.